If you want to go to the gym, or you want to go on a run, or you want to do like a dorm room fitness thing or whatever, but you're starting to get really busy, wake up a half an hour earlier and just do a little in the dorm workout or go on a run. You make time for what you want to, whether that means waking up an hour earlier, 30 minutes earlier, like you're gonna prioritize it if you want to. If you wanna work out that day, you are going to. So like just like how you would prioritize like taking a shower, it's like look at the gym or look at working out as part of like your hygiene routine. Like it's good to do for 30 minutes a day, 20, 30 minutes, just to keep yourself hygienic and um, fit. Like it should just become a part of your routine. Obviously it's important to eat healthy all your life, but at what age would you say you really need to focus on your fitness and foods you're putting into your body? I feel like that's important because everybody, when they turn like, I feel like every mom is like fit and like goes to the gym and tries to eat healthy, but everyone's like, when do you like hit that point in your life where that's like your new, new? So for me, my mom, Growing up always fed me very well, very healthy, always kept me very active. So as a kid, I learned that like that's like the way to live your life. And then when I became a teenager, I kind of was like, I had no freedom and I was able to eat whatever I want. So then I sort of stopped, then I was like, I noticed that my body started getting bigger and I was gaining weight and I didn't feel as good and I was like, oh god, like this is what happens when you stop taking care of yourself. When I got my period, my mom was like, okay, like now is where normally girls start gaining weight. You're gonna have to feed your body properly because now if you, you know, eat entire pizza, your body can kind of put it on, it can, it can kind of show it. And I was like, pizzas, and it was true. So for me, I would say you have to start young because that's just how you grow up. But if, I mean, obviously we're all older than young now. So I would say when you start your period is when you really should begin to eat your healthiest. And that's just because that's when your body's going through changes and puberty. And that's when your metabolism tends to begin to slow down. Um, and you know, if you already have your period and you're already past that, I'd say do it now. So for me, it's just when you get your period. That doesn't mean like you should be like 13 and like pumping a how to iron in the gym like no it just means like go for a little run maybe some eat like some vegetables instead of like a side of french fries you know what i mean just like little substitutes here and there to incorporate healthy habits into your daily life okay this is a good question um how often should you work out during the week and for what duration so that really depends on you and your schedule i would always recommend to work out at least three to four times a week um and then for how long it depends on the workout like if you're doing like a hit you can only you know 20 minutes is enough for that if you're doing like lifting and stuff maybe like 45 minutes if you're doing like a spin class that's a 45 minute class if you're running um or you're sprinting you know you can only do that for like however long you want like if you're sprinting let's say like a 15 minute you know sprint training thing and if you're running like a five mile run that's like a 50 minute thing so it really just depends on the workout for the duration but I would definitely say three to four times a week um, once a day is fine I mean I'm crazy and I work out literally four times a day like six days a week so I don't know why I do that honestly I just do it because it's kind of like addicting at this point so when I say workout I mean like I do like hot yoga then I lift and then I'll normally take like two spin classes a day or I'll take like Pilates I'm getting into kickboxing lately so I don't know I just switch it up but yeah you definitely don't need to go as crazy as I am I honestly think I do it just to keep myself busy because like I work from home I live at home I don't really have like friends that live at home right now they're all back at college so it's kind of like I just leave my house to keep me busy and I don't want to go to Starbucks and sit on my laptop so I just work out all the time that's like my logic in my head. You don't need to do that. I'm crazy about that. I don't know why I do that, honestly. But three to four times a week definitely is good. Once a day, totally fine. And the duration depends on you. Just make sure that you get a good sweat on and you feel like you're actually accomplishing something because it's a waste if you go to the gym and you just sort of sit there and you like do like five crunches and you're like, okay, I'm done. Like, come on. Okay, this is also another really important question that I do feel kind of strongly about. How do you deal with body imperfections after consistently working out for a long time? I know it can be discouraging because you, you can seemingly be doing, be doing everything right and not have the perfect body. I'd love to hear your response. So working out is not just about the physical aspect of it. Like I work out so much and I don't have like cut abs. I don't have perfectly toned arms. Like that's just no, but I feel so much better. And like every time I see a picture of myself, I'm not like really Tory because I know I'm not letting myself go. Like I'm not, you know, being like whatever, like let me just eat these cheese fries and call it a day. No, I'm eating right, I'm working out a ton. So even though it can be discouraging that you don't have the perfect body, I just want you to remember that all the Instagram models that you see or, you know, Kylie Jenner, a lot of times 
they're either photoshopped or they know how to pose their body right. No one has a perfect body because everyone has the idea of what a perfect body is. Like it's very personal. Like for me, if I could sculpt the perfect body, it's totally probably not what you would think of as the perfect body. You, your body is not gonna be like anyone else's body. It's unique, it's individual, it's special. That's what makes it cool. It's your own body, it's your home. Okay, so a bunch of these questions I have pretty much answered all of the questions to it's I keep getting like pretty much the same questions asked a bunch of times which is fine because that means everyone wants to know the answers but I think I answered them to the best of my ability so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped you out in some way um comment your biggest health tip for any beginners that are watching this vid and want to know how to get started love you guys thank you guys for watching even when I look like a little drowned rat love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next video subscribe